Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. a to the power b minus b to the power a equal to 17 and we need to find our a and b. So a and b, we need to find these these values. How can we do that? There are a lot of approaches, how can we solve it, but I'm going to show you a really good approach, maybe the best one. Take a look closely. We have a to the power b and b to the power a. So let's start with a to the power b. So I write 8, 8 to the power b. So how can we rewrite this a to the power b? Take a look closely. If we rate this a to the power b, if we rate this expression, the same as right here, if we raise <coughs> to the power 2 over 2, 2 over 2 equal to 1. So nothing changed for us. And if you look closely, 2 over 2 equal to 1. And this is the same. But right now, if you know a little bit about the power rules, we can rewrite it in another way. We can rewrite it as a to the power b over 2 raised to the power 2. Okay, we can write it in this way. This is a rule of interchange and moreover, if we want to prove that this is absolutely correct, we need to multiply it. We will have a to the power b over 2 times 2. If we multiply it, we will cancel this too and we will have the same as in the beginning. But what, what expression we need from here? We need this one. So we need this expression from, from the first, a to the power b. Okay, let's go next. The second, we have b to the power a. I write the right here, so b to the power a equal to. Let's do the same trick right here. So let's write it as b to the power a, and we rate this to the power 2 over 2. And of course, nothing changed for us. We need to use this rule once more as right here. We will have b to the power a over 2 raised to the power 2. Okay, so we still have this expression and this expression. So instead of writing a to the power b, I write this one, a to the power b over 2 squared minus b to the power a over 2 as well squared equal to 17. Okay, we have this expression right now. And take a look closely. This is a to the power b over 2. This is really good and we let it we have a substitution. So this is our x. And this is b to the power a over 2. This is our, for example, y. So as a result, our substitution, a to the power b over 2, this is our x, and b to the power a over 2, this is our, this is our y. So we have this, this substitution. What we have as a result? So x square minus y square equal to 17. Okay, we have this, we have this expression. What are we going to do next? A lot of students know this, this formula from school. This is our identity formula. This is a classic formula, x square minus y square. So the difference of squares. If you're talking about formula, we will have x plus y times x, x minus y. Okay, equal to 17. Okay, we have this expression. This is really good. And right now we need to think a little bit about this 17 because right here we have a product of two numbers. So for example, if we have exactly value of this x and y, we will have like this is the first number in parentheses. We multiply this number by the by this one in parentheses. Yeah, so this is first one and this is the second one. So we multiply it. But how can we express this 17 in the terms of this product? So the first way how can we express this is 1 times 17. And the second way is 17 times 1, because 17, this is a prime number, so there is not like a, a lot of combinations right here, only these two combinations. But if you look closely to this, we have 1 and 17, and 17 and 1. If you look closely to this, so x plus y is greater than x minus y, yeah? So this is maybe a, a really good trick right here. So one and only case that this equation that this problem works right here is when x plus y equal to 17 and x minus y will be equal to 1, yeah? Because we, then we reject this, this case. Okay, let's solve this system of equations right here. So what we have as a result? We have the first one, x plus y equal to 17 and x minus y equal to, equal to 1. Yeah, there are a lot of methods. How can we solve this system of equations? But the best one, the, the best one is to add both, both equations because we have plus y and minus y. So if we add it right here, we will have 2x, 2x equal to 18. And as a result, x equal to 9. This is our first, first solution.
But what about y? Where can we find our y? So let's look at, for example, like this one. So y equal to 17 minus x. So y equal to 17 minus x, which tell us that right here we'll have 17 minus 9 equal to equal to 8. So we have x equal to 9, y equal to 8. What about our, our a and b? Because we solve it in, in terms of a and b. So let's go to our substitution. a to the power b over 2. So we have x equal to a to the power b over 2. And y, y equal to b to the power a over 2. Yeah. So we have maybe the same but different like a, b and right here b, a. Okay, and let's write our equations. We have that our a to the power b over 2 equal to x, but x equal to 9. So this is our first equation right here. And the second one. So we will have like b to the power a over 2 equal to 8. But how can we find our a and b? Because like there is, we cannot express like, or maybe we can do this, we can express a and right here we plug in this b, but I want to show you a really good trick. So take a look closely. If we raise both sides to this, if we squared both sides, if we squared left side, we cancel these two. So we will have a to the power b equal to 9 square. Yeah, 9 square. And right here the same. So b to the power a equal to 8 square. Yeah. So as a result, we will have that a to the power b equal to 81 and b to the power a equal to 64. And let's try to find the common numbers right here. Take a look closely. a to the power b equal to 81. How can we write this 81? We can rewrite it in the first way as 9 square, as you can see right here. But if we write it as 3 square squared, we will have like 3 to the fourth power. Yeah, so this is our 3 to the fourth power. This is really good. And let's go to our right hand side. What we'll have? So b to the power a equal to, what about this 64? How can we rewrite this? 64, this is 2 to the sixth power. Yeah, the next one, how can we write it as 2 to the power 2 times 3? How can we write it? And as well, we can write it as 2 square cube. This is really good. And the last one, how can we express this? This is 2 square. This is 4. And this is cube. Yeah. So our final final maybe um, equation right here, a to the power b equal to 3 to the fourth and b to the power a equal to 4 to the third power. And take a look closely. a to the power b, 3 to the fourth, b to the power a, 4 to the third. Yeah. So as a result, one and only case that this equation work is when a equal to 3 and b equal to 4, yeah, b equal to 4, because we have a equal to 3, b equal to 4, and to prove it, we have the same with the second equation, a equal to 3, b equal to 4. <clears throat> so this is one and only case when this equation works. So this is our, our answer, a equal to 3 and b equal to 4. There are a lot of, lot of approaches, how can we solve it, because this is not like a classic approach, but this is maybe the best approach when you have like situation like that. Maybe you, when you have a prime number on the right and you have some expression, maybe with, with, with variables, with square, with cube, you need to factor it. And when you factor it like that, so as you can see, this is the same as, as right here. Moreover, we can write it as square, but right here I write it in a, a substitution, this. So this is our product if we are talking about substitution and this is maybe the main the main trick right here maybe the main lesson for you you need to factor this problem so you have this expression doesn't matter what you have maybe difficult maybe easy one but you need to factor it if you factor it then you combine about this prime number so how many combinations do you have a lot of problems have a prime number on the right so there is no difficulties with it because you have like only two combinations and right here we reject one because x plus y is greater than this is one and i case it x plus y equal to 17 this is our 17 and this is our one yeah, so this is a little bit explanation for you. I hope you understand this, this, this video, and I hope you enjoyed this math problem. This is really great math problem. Maybe, like, not a lot of complicated, but really, really like, good problem. I enjoy this this problem a lot because not like uh, integral derivatives, like hard cube force equation, tricky, 
problem and I hope you, you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot to make a new content every day. If you enjoy this or write your question in a comment about math problems, Olympian problems, I try to help everyone and subscribe for more videos. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.